the school board and superintendent, uh, Willie County Schools, in about 2008, 2009, I started looking at uh, different models. We wanted to look at how can we better engage students um, in the process of learning. Many different models were looked into or researched, and the new tech model seemed to, to fit a lot of the needs that we felt we needed to address. A new tech school is, uh, the name is a little bit deceiving. The original model was started in 1996 where all students had a computer and at that time that was a lot of new technologies. Today we're really looking at the idea of new tech as being uh, new techniques um, in education. We look at how we engage students in learning. We try to pose projects and problems that students are trying to solve. And these problems and projects must utilize content-specific material and knowledge in order to have productive outcomes to these open-ended scenarios. I think the biggest difference between the traditional style of learning and Eagle Tech style of learning is probably the, the teacher's role in all of it and the interaction between the students. I think a majority of the learning and discussion and questions asked leads to critical thinking between students and the facilitator actually encourages that to be the relationship and not any questions that you have whether they be deep or content worthy to go to your facilitator first but to ask your peers and kind of get a second thought or a second opinion. Students have to work collaboratively and collectively in groups to create products, presentations, solutions to problems both in our school and outside in our community and even globally. There aren't always right answers to these, to these problems. So it's this idea of being creative, being a, a problem solver, using guys in critical thinking, and being able to communicate effectively to different groups in both written and oral form. And so these skills are really the central pieces to our instruction. A new tech model does not always believe that content is the sole vehicle uh, to success. We're looking at how can we prepare students to be successful in any environment, whether it be uh, post-secondary at the college or they're going directly in the workforce. I would probably say that my favorite part about Eagle Tech is the fact that you're learning hands-on. You get real-world experience and it's a great opportunity to network with local businesses and local community members. Without attending Eagle Tech, I don't think I'd be as prepared as I am now to attend college, which I am in a few months, which is scary to think about. Um, but with the help of Eagle Tech and all the dual credit courses, AP courses, the collaboration courses, I've just learned so much about myself and I've gained so many skills that without them, I don't think I'd be able to take on college whatsoever. I'm always up for a challenge and the regular academic environment did not give me that challenge I always wanted. Um, and Eagle Tech does that for me, which is my favorite part. Just be prepared to work. It's going to test you, it's going to push you, but in the long run, isn't that what school is supposed to do anyways? We want students to be able to think and reflect and revise and repeat. To do these things over and over, work, to understand that learning is, does not have a finish line. It is something that is constant. It is something that is perpetual. That's what I believe the New Tech Network and the New Tech Model of Education helps to try to create in students. We are Eagle Tech Academy. We are Eagle Tech Academy. We are Eagle Tech Academy, and we will prepare you for anything.